Get ready. The first four right here is running forward, left, backwards, and right. And you'll see I actually have these not bound. And the reason is because of the double movement program I mentioned earlier. Because I don't use the in-game double movement, I actually have to have these unbound or else it would mess me up. But when I go back to the in-game double movement setting, I'll have this as W, A, S, D, which is just default for basically everyone. I have jump to spacebar. I have sprint to left shift. I have auto run bound to middle mouse. So when I press my middle mouse, I'll start auto running. For some reason, numlock is bound to an alternative keybind. I'm not really sure why I don't use this. So I have my crouch and slide, as I mentioned earlier, to left control. Going down to combat, I have my fire, which is shooting as to my left mouse button and targeting, which is just aiming down your sight as right mouse button. Reload is R and for use, I actually have two different keybinds and I'll explain why. The reason is because this actually gives you an advantage over your opponent when you're trying to pick up a gun. For example, and I'm sure this happens to everybody, a game is just starting and you're landing on a gun or a chest. And a lot of the time, a different player is landing on that same gun or that same chest. But for me, because I have interact bound to E and mouse wheel up, when I land on that gun, I can press E and mouse wheel up at the same time and i'll have a slight advantage over my opponent and i'll get that gun but this doesn't work all the time because ping actually plays a huge factor in this too but if there are settings that you know that can give you the edge over your opponent you have to make sure you're always using them and this is one of them harvesting tool which is your pickaxe i have that set to one and my inventory slot one to five i have bound to the numbers two through six now going down to building keybinds and as most of you guys know i don't really play a lot of building anymore but when i do and before zero builds these were all my build binds so my one is bound to Q and my floor is bound to F and my stairs and cone are actually bound to the two side buttons on my mouse. There's actually something very important going on here and I don't know if you guys know this already but it is a lot better to utilize your mouse buttons when it comes to your building binds. Let's just say I had all four of my buildings bound on my keyboard. Now this would make it a lot harder when I'm building because I have to only use my left hand on my keyboard to press all these four things but when I have two on my keyboard and two on my mouse now I can actually use both hands which is a lot more awkward optimal and it helps you out in your fights in your building in everything building edit i have this one set as b and i know a lot of people always ask me how do i edit with b and you guys remember how at the beginning of the video i told you guys settings are all personal preference this is a perfect example right here the reason i use b and the reason why b is comfortable to me and not a lot of people is because i actually play with my keyboard at a vertical angle and i'll try to show you guys here but instead of my keyboard being horizontal it's actually like this when I play. And because of that, and because of my hand placement, B is actually very, very easy and comfortable for me to hit. You guys are going to notice I also have an alternative keybind for editing, which is mouse wheel down. And that's because of this setting right down here. Reset building edit. And you guys also see I have mouse wheel down also as an alternative keybind for resetting edits. And this is basically for resetting walls a lot faster. Let's just say I have an opponent that's boxed up and I take their wall. And now I edit the wall to shoot them and I want to reset the wall all i have to do is just scroll down on my mouse wheel and it automatically resets my build and that's exactly why i have both editing and resetting bound to mouse wheel down because when i look at any building that i own when i scroll down on my mouse wheel it'll edit and reset it all in a matter of just seconds i'm gonna go over the next couple things quickly because these aren't really that important i have placing a marker as g i have emoting set to p once again because i play vertically on my keyboard i like to have it away from my hand so i don't accidentally emote in the middle of a fight now going down a little bit further here we see cursor mode this is basically your inventory i have this one bound to left alt once again because of the way i play with my keyboard and my hand placement it's very easy for me to press left alt and pull up my inventory map is bound to m and down here dbno carry and dbno place i have bound to v and f and this is basically for knocked players whether it's enemies or your teammates if i want to carry them i press v and if i want to just place them back down i press f now for the rest of the settings here guys these are all going to be vehicles settings and creative settings and first of all i don't really play a lot of creative and secondly half of these vehicles are not even in the game and even when they were i don't think i've touched any of the vehicle settings these are all just default settings so i'm not really going to go over all of these next page controller settings doesn't apply to me the last page